We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. The Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor, Hawaii by air, President Roosevelt has just announced. The experiences there at Pearl Harbor, uh, I think, strengthened me for life. Uh, it, it increased my faith in God and in the Lord. And uh, I realized that man's a pretty frail creature. My name is Herbert Loudon and I'm 90 years old. I should say 90 years young. I'm in my second childhood. On December 7, 1941, I was stationed aboard the USS Solis. My duty station was medical ward number two. While well, we were taking care of patients on the, on the ward, we heard the uh, the bombs going off, the torpedoes, and, the, and uh, the explosions that would shake the ship, and, and the loudness of it was frightening. First order from the ship was to close all watertight doors. Uh, that's because the Solus was not a ship equipped with armor plate or anything like that. It was a bit of a hospital ship, and at the time of the uh, of the bombing. The motor launches were lowered and put in a service to carry patients from the uh, different areas. The ships all around us were either on fire or uh, turning over or, or sinking. And the oil from these ships was on top of that water. And the wire, water, the water, the oil caught on fire on top of the water, and so much of the uh, movement was through this oily uh, fire and stuff to recover patients. Many of them that were blown off their ships. Uh, one of them that I would tell you about was on the USS uh, West Virginia that was struck by. Uh, five torpedoes and, and uh, he was blown from the uh, ship into the water clothed with only a life jacket, his skivvies and tennis shoes. And as we uh, uh, came along to pull him out of the water, there was a Japanese plane that was uh, firing at us with a seven and a half millimeter machine gun in front of the plane and you could see the water popping and the, the, the bullets hitting in the water. And someone yelled, duck, at which time uh, we, we tried to duck, but uh, this guy was being pulled over the gunnels of the motor launch. Along with other patients, we took him back to the hospital ship Solus. We had about a load of about 25 patients at the time we got back there, and we'd unload them on the, on the starboard side of the uh, ship. Those that could walk up, walk up, otherwise they're in stretchers, we carried them up and put them in part of the ship that they were supposed to go to. We had, we had uh, a lot of people coming to our ships from other, other ships and other motor launches, and they said, Loudon, you need to stay on the uh, ward now. So I stayed on the ward. December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infancy.